What's going on? Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be opening up my cybersecurity, ethical hacking, and pen testing suitcase that's full of cool gadgets. I'm going to be taking out three of the best gadgets to have for a beginner in 2024. So let's not waste any more time. Let's open this guy up. All right, let's see what we got. There we go. I chose these three right here. This is the Wi-Fi Pineapple Mark 7. This is a Flipper Zero. This is just a flat, I'm just kidding. This is a diabolic drive. This is probably one of my most scary tools I have, but we'll break it to each device and why I think it's really good for beginners, and uh, especially in 2024. Um, I have a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, I can go through all the tools I have. I mean, I got, uh, Wi-Fi cracking tools, I got um, penetration testing tools, even other Wi-Fi gadgets. Um, but the thing is like in uh, bad USBs, but right here, I think this is really good for beginners. And it, the price points are all about the same. Um, this is probably the most expensive out of all uh, three here. Um, this one being the least expensive. Um, so let's break into why I think these three are the best in 2024. So I'm going to start right off the bat with the crazy looking one. This is the Wi-Fi pineapple. So right there in the name, it's Wi-Fi hacking and penetration testing. Um, this right here is good because it has a, a gooey um, type feel to it. And uh, with very little knowledge and uh, with just like a, a common sense, you can pretty much plug and play this device. I mean, you. Uh, I have a video on my channel uh, showing you how to set it up. Go ahead and check that one out. I might leave the link in the description for each one. Actually, I'll leave a link for all of these because I have a video on my channel for, I think, every one of these. Um, this guy right here can sing. It has diagnostic tools. It also has reporting. So what do you do when you try to do, uh, attack a client or uh, help you um, make the reports uh, that are required for uh, testing? And uh, this has, you can do uh, evil twin attacks. I can do bad portals. Um, it is, there's not much you can't do with this device when it comes to Wi-Fi. And it's all in a nice GUI. There's no command line stuff. Um, you can do command line stuff if you wanted to. But the recon on this device is amazing. It's very easy to use. And from hands-on, like this is just, if you want to learn Wi-Fi hacking and uh, understanding how Wi-Fi networks work, this kind of like holds your hand. So it's like, as if like, it's like you're not alone. Like it's it's a weird feeling. Like it just, the, the, the Hack5 did an amazing job making this product for the sole purpose that it's really good for even beginners and also for professionals. The GUI this thing has is the same as you would be if you were uh, using the enterprise model. So like it's, you, you're, you could learn off of this and then already know how to use the uh, professional equipment so like if, if later on in the field if you want to expand your journey so like this alone has so many uh features built into it i believe this is still at 180 dollars for the setup again you can buy just the wi-fi pineapple here um this this device right here handles 2.4 gigahertz networks this little adapter here uh, makes it able to scan and penetrate uh five gigahertz network so together you get one uh pretty good package here that's why i recommend getting the tactical um setup here i mean i'm, I'm very I'm very ba vague on purpose because i'm trying to talk to the, a beginner um because i don't want to throw so much at you but this would be the best way to learn because it's very user friendly and you got to be careful with this stuff because you can make sure you're testing on your own environments uh, don't be doing anything illegal i don't condone any illegal activity again this is for educational purposes only so with that said, we're going to move on to the next one. So this is a Wi-Fi pineapple. Uh, if you want to get into Wi-Fi hacking, this is a must-get um, because of the fact that it's just so easy to, to use and it's very user-friendly. The interface is so user-friendly. And uh, let's get to the Flipper Zero. So the Flipper Zero, the reason why I like the Flipper Zero for uh, for beginner tool is because that it does so much. Uh, and it does, like, everything kind of good like it's like a swiss army knife like it, has, it can do a lot of things it doesn't do every doesn't do anything excessively well but it can do a lot of things this device opens your eyes of what vulnerabilities and uh are out there so like this has um right out of the box you get um with the standard flipper os on it i ended up putting a third-party firmware on it i had to put a third-party firmware on it because i wanted to get access to other tools 
And uh, that helped me learn. Like, oh, and I learned about firmwares and how to install firmwares onto the devices. So the CC has DeadSec on there. This is just something fun I wanted to put on it. And uh, with that said, there's apps. You can. There's so many things you can do. Bluetooth hacking. There's even games on here if you want. And I'm gonna get into those boards in a minute. Um, this this thing can be a bad USB. You can plug this into computer and send payloads. Um, we'll get into bad USBs in a little bit as well. Um, this can do Bluetooth bad USBs, a mouse. Um, it just can do Wi-Fi hacking if you buy modules for it. So this tool is also very versatile. So if you want to like start out here, and then when you get a little extra money, buy these modules to plug in, and then you can do some Wi-Fi hacking. Um, kind of similar to this, but not as advanced as this. So this is kind of like a tool that's like in the middle where you can do multiple things. It's, you're not just limited to one thing. So... This one right here might be the best one for, for beginner, just for the sole purpose that it does a little bit of everything. You can start just playing around with it. And again, this is good because it's like a to it, it literally feels like a toy, but it's, it could be very dangerous. Um, you, could, you could hack sub gigahertz networks. You can clone um, things or make remotes. Uh, this thing is pretty dangerous in the right hands. Um, but also it's a great learning tool because it, it te this thing teaches you concepts like it's like proof of concepts like okay well it also helps you see vulnerabilities in everyday life and that's why this tool is very valuable is that it just you show you the actual vulnerabilities out there highly recommend it just for that and there's gonna be other tools coming out that are very similar to this so I'm assuming this is gonna drop in price at some point there's an M1 coming out that does a little bit more than this and is a little bit more powerful um, but we'll get talking about that later. But again, for this video, I really like this device for uh, beginners for, for the sole purpose that it does a lot of things. And uh, it really opens up the door um, to ethical hacking and just seeing how things actually work and seeing where actual vulnerabilities are. You can test it for, like right here in your hand. You, there's, a, there's super advanced stuff you can do with this and there's some simple stuff you can do with this. There's stuff right out of the box you can do and the stuff that you could program, like I did I end up putting third party stuff on here and so I can get better uh, tools. And uh, I don't wanna go into too much depth with this at, as well because just for the sole purpose that this is just a quick guide video. But again, this just does a lot and it does a lot pretty good. And uh, this helps prove proof of concepts. So moving on to the next device here, the last one here. This is not a, just a flash drive, this is a diabolic drive. So I'm gonna try to take this apart with one hand. I don't think it's gonna work out. All right, there it is. So this is a diabolic drive. So this guy is very dangerous. This thing has stealth tech built into it. So when you plug this into a computer, it behaves just like a regular USB. In fact, if you were to look at device manager, it would say that it's a Kingston flash drive, but it would also behaves like a uh, storage device. So you can actually put files on this just like a regular USB. And then with the flip of a switch, I can connect to this remotely using a Wi-Fi connection. And I could turn this into a penetration uh, testing device. So long story short, I hit the switch. I end up sending a payload to the computer. I turn off the penetration testing tool and it goes right back to being a, a flash drive. The thing about this device too, it will lie dormant for, for as long as you want. It'll still pretend to be a, a regular flash drive and then until I want to wake it up again. So like you you wouldn't know where the, even the tech came from. And this thing would be very dangerous. You drop this in a parking lot, somebody picks it up, is curious. It looks like it looks safe because it's like a normal flash drive. And I, it, even scarier, you take somebody else's flash drive, you take a, you take the internals out, you put this in to their case, they, and then you clone their flash drive to this, and then they would not know the difference at all after you do all that. And then you, you have a you have a entry point at any time you want that lies dormant and doesn't raise any flags. It's a very dangerous tool. This is like, I wanna say this is the fourth gen of bad USB, the rubber ducky um, bad USB. It's kind of like an old school type of bad USB. Um, you have Wi-Fi bad USBs. I have other Wi-Fi bad USB, but it doesn't it doesn't have the stealth tech like this has. Like, and the, just the ease of use. Uh, this is also like a plug and play device. Um, very easy, very easy interface as well. Uh, Omar Youssef, uh, he's the creator of this. He did a really great job setting this device up. Uh, there's not that many out there in the world right now. This is a very very new device, but you can still purchase one if you would like. I'll leave a link in the description as well. Um, this is the newest generation of bad USBs because it's just the, the between the stealth tech and the ease of use and the, the Wi-Fi range, et cetera, this thing is just ahead of its time. So that's why I really recommend this because when hacking bad USBs is like 
the main thing um you can you should learn pay, how to do payloads you should learn how they act and what to watch out for um so this is a good always have a bad usb granted the flipper zero can be a bad usb for you as well um but this is the, the newest generation so if you were to build up your your toolkit i highly recommend getting this as well um the diabolic drive again the flipper zero is just because it can do so much it could be a bad usb it could be a bluetooth bad usb um, you can't edit payloads like this guy. You can edit payloads on the go. That's another thing, too. So you could change scripts. You can do whatever you want on the fly with this one. This one you can't. It's kind of whatever you install on it. That's it. You can't really edit it. That said, and I know I, and I'm, I'm, I'm being very vague in this video, but I, I'm, it's on purpose because of the fact that this is tailored to somebody that wants to just start out and they don't know what to buy, where to even start. I highly recommend this stuff because of the fact that it's easy to use. It's not difficult to use. Yes, this cheaper stuff, but the cheaper stuff, if you want to download Kali Linux and you want to download, uh, make a, a, a bootable flash drive, yes, that's super cheap, but it's kind of complex and hard to use, especially when you're learning. At least here, you can learn the concepts with these devices because they're just have really good interfaces and they're very user friendly. And just because they're user friendly doesn't mean they're not dangerous. They end up being really dangerous because the more you learn, the more you can do with these devices and the better you will get at ethical hacking and the better you will get at penetration testing and just in cybersecurity in general. I'm learning and studying. This is out of all the tools I bought, all the things I've made. I got gadgets. I got tons of things I've tested. I built, um, I built, oh, I'm sure you have. So I built this myself. So this is a bad USB. But this is a very complex versus something like this. This is a Raspberry Pi Zero W that I had flashed a special firmware on here that turns it into a bad USB that could be accessed using Wi-Fi, similar to the Diabolic Drive. But this guy um, doesn't have Stealth Tech at all. I mean, this thing this you can't really hide this at all and make it look good. And uh, as soon as you plug it in, it's a computer aware of its existence. Uh, unlike this, this thing just blends into the environment. This thing is sticks out like a sore thumb, even in the computer as well. So you'll know that this is plugged into your computer and this is hidden. So this, I built this myself, but this is really complex. And it's meant for a beginner. I, it, I mean, it's good to learn this kind of stuff, but again, it's good to understand the concepts first and then build off of that and then go out and start building things on your own. And again, with Flipper Zero, you can mess around with it. You could add different firmwares on it, download more tools buy modules that give it more functionality. This is a Wi-Fi module here. This is the Marauder board. I plug this in, I can do Wi-Fi penetration testing and, and uh, bad portal, uh, evil twin, etc. So like this is good because it could do so much, but this is really good because it's so user-friendly and this is more advanced. This will help you learn. And I believe that like the networking side of cybersecurity is going to be such a demand for it. This stuff is like gadgets. I mean, like at the end of the day, like I could open up a garage door or you, you could, everything has like rolling codes now. So you can't, it's hard to clone car keys um, and things like that. Like it, this, like this for me, like this is like more fun and a proof of concept tool. Um, and then this stuff is more like you want to get into cybersecurity one day and uh, you want you want to learn you want to be, have, learn useful skills that'll benefit you in the job. Um, this, this would be it for me. Uh, and then this is this, like this new generation of bad USBs. This is a really good, I, this is a good way of showing people how vulnerable we really are to hacking. All right. And that's pretty much it. So again, I'm leaving this video very vague and simple on purpose, because if somebody is wanting to get into this field and they want to practice or they're enthusiasts, they always want to get to ethical hacking or they want to get to cybersecurity or penetration testing. For me, in my journey, I found that these three devices here are the best because they're so user-friendly and they help you help yourself learn because they're just so simple to use. Like stuff like this is like the newest generation. Um, I guess it's like a diabolic drive. This is a Flipper Zero. Um, this has been around for a while. Um, there's tons of things online that help you use this. If you break it, it's pretty easy to fix. Um, this is a really good uh, jack of all trades type of tool. And again, I, I'm a networking guy myself. I went to school for computer networking. So this stuff interests me the most because I have that networking background. And this interface is just so easy to use. And then eventually, if I continue to practice with this device, I'll learn. How, I'll be able to understand the enterprise stuff and be able to be really effective out there in the field one day if I were to get a cybersecurity job. 
uh, networking jobs. And these are the three devices I highly recommend. I'm gonna leave a link for each device uh, in the description below. Um, and I hope you guys learn from this video. I want to help you guys as well as show you what I'm learned along my journey. And this is where I'm at right now. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And again, I do not condone any illegal activities. I'm just here to educate and show you guys what I've learned along my journey of learning cybersecurity on my own. Because we're going to live in a world where we have to learn everything on our own because it's just too expensive to go to school sometimes. But I find that learning online is a lot better. And also just learning in general hands-on is how I learn. So I hope this video helps somebody out there just like me. And remember, safety is an illusion, and I'll see you in the next video.